Planet on Earth is proudly sponsored by Chris's and Dips. Stones Cafe. Geneva. Samedayprinting.com.au. Welcome back to Planet Art Earth uh, for 2012, the only show dedicated to unearthing James's crutch. No, to Australian talent. Ooh. He's got the bat on. Look what's back. He's, the bat's back. The bat is hey, back. How you been, mate? Hey, yeah, good, mate. Yeah, good to Ooh, see you. Ooh, have you hurt your hand? Uh, no, this is uh, my boxing uh, sort of mitt sort of thing. We're here for the fighters, fighting for the people out there in the entertainment industry. So this is our pledge to you guys to make a living fighting for you. So make sure you watch the show. You can even donate via pledge.com.au. Everything goes to these guys, the guy behind the camera and that sort of thing. Just nothing to us. Nothing to us. We don't get any money. That's all right. Hey, uh, what's on the show today? (laughs) We've uh, got our celebrity guest, uh, Georgia Sinclair, international Mm -hmm. DJ and model and actress. She'll be jumping in the bed with us. She's a DJ. With you. Yes, uh, yeah, she, she is a DJ, she Rob. Is, you better mate. be careful. Yeah. No, nah, sorry, man. Your uh, your uh, your expiry dates coming oh, up. Oh well. So. Hey, Sean. Sorry. Maybe uh, maybe Rob and her can uh, smash some beats out together. Ooh. Sounds good to me. Robbie, you single? Yeah, I am. Here we go. Looking. Yeah. It's gonna now, happen. Uh, sorry, what was that? I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I think we'll make it happen. Twenty BPS per second, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it is? Is it, what it is? BPM, yeah. but that's all yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Nearly there. I vote. Oh, your hand, your hand. Sorry, yeah. Hey, uh, you'll be with uh, uh, our very own Master Chef. Uh, yes, uh, Master Chef uh, Phil Varkos, uh, mm. back on the show this week as usual at mm. uh, his restaurant Spitigo, cooking up something delicious. Nice. And Peter Chapman will be jumping on the couch with our presenter Tommy as well, and Kang all the way from Sydney will be jumping on the. Uh, on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you got that one, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, having a chat with Kang, the uh, the band from Sydney. So looking forward to that as well. And uh, smashing this piñata too. Thanks to Mandy. Yes. <laughs> fan of the week last week. Thanks, Mandy, for all these really cool stuff. Now, quickly before we uh, jump to uh, food, of the, food with Phil. What are we jumping to? Stones. Good oh, that's right. Stones. Good morning, Australia. Before we jump to that. Thanks, crew. Thanks, crew. Thanks, Matt. Uh, before we jump to that, uh, via our Facebook page, we had a competition going where when we got to 800 likes on Facebook, uh, we got to shave James's ass. So... What? <laughs> what? No, we... What? <laughs> so, uh, we got to 800... We're at 866 at the moment. I'm not doing it now. So, James, um, <laughs> if you please pull down your pants. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me, right? No, James. We we told our audience what? that we're eight hundred, and they they all wrote in to say we we're gonna get the eight hundred. We got the eight hundred. What without cream? Uh, we've got cream here. Just start pulling your pants down. You joking? Right? No, James. We we our viewers eight hundred. <laughs> Listen, look. We'll go to Good Morning Australia, and when we come back, uh, we'll see if we can get a James pull his pants down. Nah. Take it away, Good Morning Australia. Nah, dude. It's just it's just a razor. Nah, piss off. Nah. DJ Rob Zyre, we, we are going to uh, speak to some lovely people today for our Good Morning segment, sure which you are, we're kicking off here at Stone's Cafe, of course, That's and right. uh, we're going to ask them a very special question. We are going to ask them about our host, Sean Berry, who's not with us today, and okay. you know how he jumps into bed with all the guests? Yes, he does. He loves it. Yeah, we're going to find out if the people out there love it. Do you love it? I honestly love it. It warms my heart, you know? He honestly loves it. I don't know if you do this when you DJ, but here, when you talk to people, right, you need to warm up at Stone's Cafe, isn't it? So we've got, exactly. we've got a variety here. We've got a spread for you to go through, okay? Nice, so nice. let's get to it. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to rock. All right, let's, 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 let's go with the first one. Let's try some of this. Uh, this uh, blueberry, berry, lemonade, berry stuff. Berry, basil, berry, basil lemonade. That's good. Very tasty. Very, jam it in, mate. Just jam it in. That's it. <laughs> Tastes nice. <laughs> Tasty. Tasty? Mm. It's tasty stuff here at Stone's Cafe in Essendon. 
Oh, good idea, I guess. Yeah, it's a good idea. Cozy. Uh, per- you don't think it's perverted or you know something? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you enjoy the. <laughs> yeah. She get the girls into the bed on the show. That's a. In England, but not in Australia. Oh well, that's true. We are a first. Yeah. Oh, John, John Lennon did it as well. So people watching it or? <laughs> yeah, people are watching. Yeah, we've got three viewers. Three or four. Oh, yeah, okay. two of them are going to be you guys this weekend. <laughs> I don't think that's forwarded. Depends on uh, what you do in the bed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're back here at Stones Cafe. We've been out on the streets, and uh, we, you know, we've we've heard the verdict straight from the horse's mouth. Or maybe just the viewers. I'm not calling you horses or anything like that. But here with us is Sarah. You're the manager, aren't you? Yes, I am. I didn't even know that, but I just thought, you know, we'll call her that. Well, one of the managers. Yeah. <laughs> what, how many are there? There's two of us. Oh, because is it an Italian family? Yes, we are an Italian family. So every cousin has some piece in the business, right? <laughs> A little bit like that. So, yeah, yeah. You going to have something else? Uh, yeah, I think I might have whatever I had before all over my hands. It's good, that egg thing. He likes a lot of egg on his hands. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. Welcome back. Joining me on the couch is a born and bred Melbourne Australian named Peter Chapman. Welcome, buddy. Thank you. Nice to be here. How are you going? Good, good. Now, um, I always like to do a bit of research on the people who I'm interviewing. And um, I did type your name into Google. You and did? I want to tell you what your Wikipedia says. I want to <laughs> see if it's you. I want to just check. The Wikipedia for Peter Chapman says... Uh, Peter Chapman is a convicted murderer who is featured heavily yeah. in the media and has become known as the Facebook killer. Is that you? Not that Peter Chapman, funnily good, enough, no. Good, good. Well, yeah. at least we've got the not, not but the murderer. I, but I have heard about him. Okay. Yeah, So you've been mistaken times. for him? No, not mistaken <laughs> for him, but yeah, I've heard that he's hogging the airwaves a bit. Now, I did, um, after a bit more investigation, I did find um, all of your, your music stuff through your Facebook and your oh, YouTube. You, that was what, like 4,051, was it, in the search? Pages in? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I did find your stuff, and uh, which you can see the link um, on the screen right now to your, your pages. Nice. Um, but that brings me to ask you, do, how important do you think having uh, an online presence is for an artist? Oh, in this day and age, everything, I guess, yeah, everything. So I think it's changed the face of everything pretty much. So I was having a look at your YouTube um, page and I came across one of your, your film clips that's had over 50,000 views. Can you tell us a little bit yeah. about that? No, so I was down at um, Banks Rowing Club on the, on the Yarra and uh, yeah, we did the thing with the, uh, the Cox 8 team. Yeah. It was good, yeah, it was, uh, it was cold. It was the first weekend of winter actually, Ooh. last year, yeah. So we got a great weekend weather-wise but the boat dips in under the water by about three or four inches. Did you it come can't out wear or? shoes. No, no, it didn't come out. No way. So yeah, had to sit in this in the coxswain and no shoes, feet cramping Ooh. up. Had to monitor from down underneath. It was quite a few degrees of difficulty, but it was uh, it was good. Now yeah. you can see that um, that clip on his YouTube page, but. Um, that, that, that song, No Music, No Soul, that's from your album, which is titled No Music, No Soul. Yeah, um, it is. And you've got another single that you're, you're about to release? Yeah, yeah, so, so that was the first single, and, um, and then I did an audio-only single in the second half of last year, sorry, late last year, which was called Dreamscape. And, um, you know, that did well. I was getting some play on commercial radio across the country. Awesome. And, um, and the third single has... It's about four weeks into its release and the video clip is just about to go out. Yeah. Cool, cool. Saw the final cut a couple of days ago. Yeah. Yeah. And um, hoping that it'll get the response that the first one did? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, you know, look, it's, um, I, uh, I went up to Sydney and worked with the Creative Foundry up cool. there, you know, rocking the boys up there. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, we went and shot the whole thing in the Blue Mountains, which was really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Now, um... Just coming to an end, mate, I want to finish with my final five where I'm just going to reel off a bunch of questions yep. and, and you're just going to answer them as truthfully good. or don't answer them at all. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one is, um, what's been your most memorable gig? So, so I was just at Pure Pop Records in St Kilda. Yeah. Um, great little record store that you walk out the back of, which becomes a courtyard. There's a bar there. There's a little stage down the yep. back. It's, uh, it's very St Kilda very intimate and uh, really cool. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, next question. What's been the toughest crowd? All musicians have had them. Um, what's been your toughest? Oh, okay, look, I was doing a show um, up in Aubrey, uh, up at the new Aubrey Hotel. Um, where is the one place you'd want to play? Venue, festival, one place? Do you know what? I'll be a little bit left of centre. I'll say the Colosseum in Italy. 
Awesome, awesome. Mm. If you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be? Bob Dylan. Okay, what is your favourite song at the moment? I really like What's, that, what that, that Gotcha to? song. Really like okay, that Gotcha song. Great. Reminds me of um, of a Peter Gabriel thing, an early yeah. Peter Gabriel thing. Thank you very much for coming in, mate. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, nice to buddy. meet you, Tom. Cheers. And good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. Now back over to Sean, wherever he... Well, here he is. Uh, I'm coming out of the closet today. Do you know why I'm coming out of the closet? A very special reason, because we have opened up our doors for artists like Peter Chapman and, you know, musicians, um, actors, presenters to come on the show and promote their work, promote their, themselves to a national audience for season three, commences 8th of July. We've opened up our booking, so email us at info at and we'd love to see you on the couch just like Peter Chapman. I liked yesterday as well. I liked, I got on and liked. Thanks, Peter. Beautiful. Now we can get to shave James's ass. And let's go to a break. <laughs> when we come back, George Sinclair, uh, George, Georgia Sinclair. I'm jumping in the bed. Thank you very much and with me on the couch right now on Planet Unearth is a wonderful group, a band from Sydney once again and they go by the name of Kang. Yes we do. Welcome. Thank you for having us. I learnt all your names. You did. Tell me, here we go, here we go. Philip? Oh. Yes. Right. Um, Trevor? Yeah, that's me. Right. Sandy? Oh. <laughs> and that's Luke on the end. Leopold. You see, I got, I got Luke right. You got right. Luke right. You got Luke right. right. Yeah. He scares me. Look at he's that. What, what he's, are they all real? Yes, every one of those. Unfortunately. Every one of those are real. You can't real. wipe them off or anything? No, nah, we've tried. Right. <laughs> Many times. Let's get to business. You're a wonderful band from Sydney. As I said, your name is called Kang. That's the name of the band. How yes. did that come about? Uh, it's uh, Kang is a... Is, you want to take this one, Steve? Uh, it could be anything you want it to be, really. Like, <laughs> we didn't really have any great plan. It was just kind of this really annoying sound on our first record, the, the first thing we ever recorded. There was just this grinding China symbol that came through everything with this loud Kang. So it's just kind of a noise that won't go away. Uh, oh, <laughs> really was, annoying sound. I was thinking that's maybe how it worked. Like, one of you said, what are we going to call the band? And someone went, Kang. <coughs> yeah. Kang. And, and Kang came out. There Kang you go. Kang came out. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. By the way, we won't call you Philip and Sandy and all that. We will call you Andy. Andy. Steady. Steady. Sven. Sven. And that's Luke, as we said before. Good day there. Excellent. How long have you all been together for? Way too long. Um, <laughs> uh, about, what, five years too long? Yeah, about five years too long. long. Absolutely. Five years too long. Yep. Yeah. And you're playing around the pub scenes in, in Sydney? Absolutely, and Sydney's our hometown and um, we love the pub scene in there. Yeah. And you, you were telling me that you've had some, some local uh, airplay as well? We have, we have. We had some radio play. Um, we went up the Central Coast last week and um, now we come down to Melbourne to see you guys. Good stuff. Well, we're, we're very happy to, uh, to have you here on Planet Unearth, of course. What, what would you say your, your sound is like here? Uh, I, punk and roll is kind punk of the rolls, new the new rolls. phrase that's kind of punk been thrown. Punk and roll, punk and roll, yeah. It's like a salad uh, roll, because yeah, like, that's just wrap it up, just wrap it up, a bit of a wrap, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, no, a mix sort of between rock and roll and sort of punk, punk pop. Someone threw that at us uh, in one of their reviews, and we're like, we'll take that. Excellent, copyright and king. Now you were telling me off air as well that uh, you've had three top songs in Triple J Unearthed, Unearthed. Yeah, so we had three songs. Uh, in this year's Triple J on Earth uh, competition, yep. uh, all off our new EP, and they rated number one, two, and three on the top of the charts for about five weeks. That's so. like that's gold, silver, and bronze. Therefore, you've taken yeah. it all out. No competition for anybody. No, absolutely fantastic. We couldn't have been happier. That's awesome. Congratulations. This, like, as you said, this is your second EP, and it is called Kang, Your Money or Your Life. Is that just a, right. a desperate call? For the, anything in particular? <laughs> well, well, it was a line from one of the songs, and we thought, you know, well, it's a great line. without having to think of anything extra brilliant, yeah. we'll just use one that we've already got. I so think it'd be a great slogan it's, for it's upcoming also talent, you know. Give us money now, please. Yeah. Buy, yeah. buy the album, or we're going to be forced to do something drastic. Yeah. yeah. Something unpleasant for everyone involved. Yeah. That's Luke's so, job, right? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why he keeps quiet, he keeps he, there on the end. He's the quiet one, she got to watch. In fact, and what, what do you all play in the uh, in the band? Who sings? Who plays what? Uh, I sing, or um, a loose description uh, of singing. Uh, so that is the bass player. We've yep. got Sven's the lead guitarist. Yep. Luke over there bashes the drums around. Just smack, just break just, them. He likes breaking. Hold Luke's, drum Luke's here, smash. I want to just mention the album again, your second EP, Kang, Your Money or Your Life. And I want to quickly show a little bit of a gag here. I'm calling it a gag. You okay, call it a guys? gag. Go for here it. Here you are, your cute little it. faces. You spin it around and they've all grown up. 
with a bit of Adobe Photoshop involved in I, there, probably. I think we've aged well. No, you've aged really like well. Like a fine wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what happened here? This one had a perm. <laughs> this <laughs> one? Who's this one? Oh, that, that's, that's that, 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 is that, that is Luke on the end. That's Luke. That uh, is why we shave his head. Fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Oh, uh, thanks, congratulations guys. and best wishes to Kang. Yeah. And uh, we're going to hear from you guys a bit later Absolutely. on as well. Absolutely. And buy our stuff. Yeah, buy your stuff. <laughs> buy I, our I, stuff. I, iTunes? iTunes? Yeah. yeah. iTunes. Buy it. Get it on iTunes. <laughs> Kang, give him a round of applause, ladies and gents. That's us. We're back. <gasps> Philip Varkos. How Phil Varkos. Uh, I've never called you Philip in my life. I don't know. Why? Except, I don't know. It just came it's out. Too, I want it to be it's dramatic. It's formal, isn't it? I want it to be Phil. dramatic, just like on MasterChef. Oh, okay. Of oh. course, thanks to uh, Chris's dips once again. And Phil, we're here at Spitiko Restaurant. That's his restaurant, your restaurant. What are you cooking today? It's our restaurant. It's our restaurant. It's our restaurant today. I'm part, I'm part, part owner now. I'm part yeah, owner. Yeah. Cash, mate. Cash. Just on, just on. Just on um, love. On Earth episodes. Just on love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what we're gonna do is Bugazza today. Don't call me that. Bugazza. No, don't. Ah, there, Bugazza. No, no, Bugazza. Bugazza is like a. It's almost like a similar to custard pastry. It's like a Greek thing to have for breakfast with coffee and is it whatever. A, more, a dessert kind yeah, of dish. Yeah, it's a dessert. All right. But what Take I've done is I've made it a bit differently because the custard takes a while. But I've made it. I've infused the um, custard with basil and pistachios. That's why it's green. Give it a bit of flavour because you know basil's kind of nice and pistachio is one of my favourite nuts. Really? Yeah. You're a nut. He's a nut. I'm a crunchy nut. Yeah, you're a crazy nut. What's the pastry? Filo. 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 That's you, Phil. Yeah. Filo. 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 Pa- Filo Barkers. <laughs> Filo, Bar- Filo pastry. You, you should be a comedian. Do you no, do I stand up. I try. Yeah. I don't think I get very far. <laughs> do you watch it with the butter? I mean, I'm not wearing an apron. I'm not wearing nothing here. Well, maybe you should put an apron on next episode. Oh, my mum's run out of detergent. Um, so uh, this goes inside. This in the middle does go inside. That's good stuff. Oh, that is great stuff. We are. Uh, we had a bit of a taste. Yeah, test we today, did. A we bit did. earlier we did. on. Oh, it's it delicious. But Vicky and Cyril, who were behind the, the cameras, they couldn't get enough. They didn't get any. Okay, so look, we've brushed it with a crazy amount of butter. Excellent. That's going to go in the oven. Yep. 180 degrees. Yep. Just for about 15, 20 minutes. Yep. Then I'll show what we do afterwards. Oh, I can't wait afterwards till it comes is, out. is is where the magic happens. I can't wait till it comes me, out. Me neither. I'm, I'm hungry get for it. Get it in there, oh, Mike. Get it in there. Phil Phil's out the back over there right now. He's about to take out this wonderful dish Ooh. straight out of the oven. Ooh, I can it's smell it from hot. here. It's delicious, and I Bugatza. haven't even tasted it. Bugatza, Bugatza. Bugatza. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look at that gloss. That gloss. I'm gonna give it a bit of cinnamon. Is that Dulux? <laughs> And heaps. Phil doesn't like my jokes. He just no, you. He, he just internally laughs because they're crap jokes. I put it down. Let me finish it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Sorry. Heaps, sorry. heaps of heaps of icing sugar. What's this? Is this a technical form formality? Not or? really. It means I don't have a sip next to me. <laughs> so I'm just doing the best I can. This is wonderful. Heaps of sugar. Heaps and then of what sugar. What we do is look at that, and you just chop it up into pieces. No, you just eat it. Give it a taste. All right. Just be careful. This is the we don't want to burn you again, right? No, nah, no. Nah. This is the best part of doing cooking this, with Phil, oh, thanks. thanks to our Chris's dips. I thought dips. it was like shaking my hand before every... No, nah, because your hand's dirty. Oh. Uh, no, not really. But uh, this part here is fantastic. Mm. Oh. Mmm. I think I'm being spoiled. I wish we had taste of vision. Then everyone at home could kind of... Taste, taste. of vision? Yeah, so we could kind of like... Vision of taste. Mm. Vision Phil, of taste. well done. Thanks, man. Thanks again. The cooking is always wonderful here at Spitigal. Thank you. Everyone should come on down and uh, and, and have a meal here at Spitigal Restaurant in South Melbourne. Mm. And Phil? Or just... Or it's, got, it's got a little oh. bit of a... Uh, it's got a little bit... Uh, it's got a little bit there. Do I? Yeah. Still there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Still there. Still there. Mm. Mm. Back to you, Sean. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, guys. How do you do it? Hey. Oh, no. Nah, you can't, can't do, do it. it. You can't mm. do it like that. Uh, guess what? Our celebrity guest for this episode is a very attractive, very tall, very blonde lady. <laughs> and, uh, she's been well, she's more well known for her uh, presenting talents on Kids WB and also as an international DJ and actress and model and superwoman and superstar. Please welcome, put your hands together for Georgia Sinclair. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, you bought your pajamas as well. Oh, I told wow. you to burst out of there. Did I burst you out did. enough for you or do you want me to go back and do no, it? No, 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 that's perfect. Okay, awesome. cool. Hope you don't mind. I found these awesome PJs in well, the closet. Where'd you put them on? Can you put them on? Yeah. Can I just. Can I. 
Uh, James! <laughs> you know what? I'm going to show you something right here right now. James tells me not to pick on him about his love life or about anything related to females, but yet he sniffers people's boxer shorts. What's with that? Bit odd. Uh, look, um, that's, I just, I, I was just, forget it, doesn't matter. <laughs> Georgia, jump in the bed with me. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, this is the most action I've had in a while. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's that's my line. You stole my line. That's what <laughs> I know. He's got nothing to go with. <laughs> Georgia, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Please don't fart. I, uh, too late. Um, hey, guess what? We want to know about uh, where it all started for you. At what age did you get your very first uh, gig? Well, I st my very first gig, well, I started as a model back when I was about 14, right. so I have been in the industry for a little while. I won't tell you how old I am, but uh, hopefully, you know, all of you will say around 16, 17. That's what I'm just going tell for. Me. I'm, I'm 27, so are you older or younger than me? What if I'm the same? Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> are you single? Um, no, well, don't, don't I answer that. This is the most action I've had in a while, so, so I must have yes. a really, uh, really boring boyfriend. Or you could be married. Not. I could be married. That's true. Yeah. That is very true. By the way, hey, Georgia, tell us what's happening now. Um, you've touched on to um, becoming a DJ, and I have. you've been doing that for a little while now. Um, some of your stuff uh, you, we can catch that on online. Um, if they head to your website, yeah, yeah, Georgia I've got Sinclair. a website. Yep, www.georgiasinclair.com.au. Funny okay. that. Funny that. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. No, I've always wanted to DJ since I was a kid. I'm been passionate about music and I found that I had a little break in my schedule mm. when I, yeah, a couple of years ago now, about three years ago, mm. um, where I wasn't working. So mm. I decided to take that opportunity to teach myself to DJ and I've never looked back. Now DJ Rob Zale's got a bit of competition. Sure Ooh, does. Oh yeah. Uh, Rob, she's even better looking than you, unfortunately. Oh, I don't Sorry. know about that. Oh, I think so. Don't <laughs> know. And she can actually see the console because of her height. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to uh, Rob, uh, Sorry, mate. Sorry, Sorry, mate. I'm short as well. I'm short as well. So. Hey, um, George Sinclair, we have oh, a... That? That's oh my a God. razor, James. Yeah, I know what that is. Why have you got it out? It's not for you, don't worry. Oh. Um, What's it for? It's for James. <laughs> we, ha we, have a, we have a thing running uh, for the next couple of episodes. Uh, we got to 800 likes. We put a, a thing out there where if we get 800 likes on our Facebook page, we could James, James, shave James's <laughs> ass cheek. We could shame him. No, we'll, we'll shame. <laughs> we just want to know, Georgia, if you would like to help us today on Planet Earth. It would be. It's, it's like I'm fulfilling a lifelong dream. James, are you ready? <laughs> what? We can't happen right now. Oh, go on. Yes, it can. What? <laughs> come on. I'm serious. Up you get. I'm we need to go to the break. We need to go. When we come oh, back. Shit. I got George's one hairy ass. Could be, Wait. Could Wait, be shaving his bum cheeks. Most action I've had in ages. George and Claire, thanks for coming on. <laughs> Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> when we come back, um, more stuff to come, Kang, and that sort of thing. Uh, he's going to perform live. Uh, and we're going to shave James's ass. Let's get some cream. See you guys. Can we get some cream? Let's go. Nivea. Oh, I like Nivea. Joe, come on, be a man. <laughs> <laughs>That's your favourite move. That's my some slap some ass. Spank and the monkey. Spank and the monkey. <laughs> Spank and the monkey. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Hey, we're gonna go. Do we? Yeah, it's been See a great later. show. No, don't oh, go yet. Right, gonna, because we've got to shave your ass. What? We're gonna shave your ass before we go. <sighs> we're really gonna do this, are we? Well, it's the end of the show. We haven't done it yet. Next so. next week. Let me let me mentally at least prepare myself for this. I know that we said that we, if we got eight hundred likes, not there, that'll give me a rash. Uh, th that'll certainly give me a rash um, that I need to shave a little bit of my ass. So apparently. on National Pay TV, you are committing to us shaving one cheek. On oh, one whole cheek? <laughs> well, what do you expect, dude? I can't go These guys have liked us. They've spent time, liked our Facebook page. I can't go around having one hairy ass cheek on Why, my other one. Well, that's that as well. So two, we shave two cheeks. No, we just we just like just shave just a little bit. Okay. Next week, if you want to see James's ass shaved on National Pay TV, make sure you tune in next week on Foxtel's Aurora Channel, Thursday nights at 9pm, or subscribe via planetunearth.com.au and you can watch it for free online. The best entertainment is always free. Why is everyone laughing about my ass cheeks? What? It's, it's funny. funny.
We're can I, can someone professional do it? Because I okay. do not trust you with the race. We'll get someone. We'll get a makeup artist. We'll get someone a hairdresser to to shave his bum cheek. Hey, um, James, it's been a pleasure. Hey, it's been a good show, Sean. Tonight, the Bash Radio Show, ninety eight point nine. We'll get all the goss. Yeah, we'll be on the uh, on the Bash Radio Show, uh, NorthwestFM.org, if you want to tune in. There you go. And thanks to Kiss FM for sponsoring and all our sponsors: Chris's Dips, uh, Quencher, Same Day Printing, and uh, what are the other sponsors? Uh, just to all of them that give you cash. Just all of them. Uh, thanks for dressing me, um, <laughs> Vogan Jackson, me and Jay. <laughs> That's it. And your mum. And my mum for dressing me. Yeah. Here it is, Kang, taking us out. Woo! Have a look at that. It's midnight and the walls are falling down around my bed. And I'm bleeding from my heart, God knows. Bleeding from my head Yeah, I'm down But not for long Cause a smile is all I need And I have one Another calculated mind It's brought down to its knees Yeah, I could stand up to an arm and go But not to this disease And I'm searching dusty corners in my mind I think that she might be my greatest find She's kind of busy with pretty much sort of always on my mind And every time she gets too close It's like I just misplaced my spine And she's Can I get lost inside my head? Getting drunk off all the nothings that she said. Yeah, I'm feeling it now.